Hi, it's Zach again. And it's Karen again. Prepare to get schooled in another episode of the Control Cabinet Classroom. For those designing or building an industrial control cabinet, this video is for you. In this must-see video, we'll be exploring one of the most fundamental but understated topics in the control panel design, choosing the right terminal block. So how do you know what's the best fit? Well, here are the top five things you need to know about terminal blocks. First, you have to have a plan. With such a wide range of terminal blocks available, selecting the best fit can be daunting. The most important fact you need to start with, though, is very simple. You must select blocks that can handle the voltage, current, and wire gauge that you will have in your panel. It is absolutely critical that you size the terminal blocks properly. If the wrong terminal block is used, it can cause electrical performance issues and possibly create a hazard for equipment or people. Plus, it might not work. This cable is never going to fit into this terminal block. So take the time to plan out what is needed for the application. Moving on to number two. What functionality are you going to need? For example, do you just need to connect a couple of wires with a feed-through terminal block? Or are you going to need to do something with that circuit, like disconnect it? Feed-through blocks are great if you just need to hook one device to another. However, if the current must be stopped at some point, like during testing, you'll need a disconnect block. As you can see, there are several different types of disconnect blocks available. Some are pluggable and some have a lever, so you can choose what works best in your application. Moving on to number three. Think about the kinds of devices you're connecting. Is there a potential for them to become damaged? In many cases, the connected devices, like a PLC for example, will be sensitive to excessive current or temperature, so they will need to be protected. Yep, and that's exactly why there are terminal blocks with integrated fuses that are ideal for this application. With the ability to add a fuse into a terminal block, an extra layer of safety is incorporated in the circuits that protects equipment without any extra wiring. And number four. How many signals will you have? If you have a lot of wires to terminate, you probably want terminal blocks that save space so that your panel doesn't become too massive. Because bigger panels cost you money, honey. That's right. Plus, you might not have that much physical space available to you. Right. In this case, we want to use a multi-level terminal block. It's a great solution because they allow for several terminations in one block. So you can wire two, three, or even four separate devices in one block versus using individual blocks. Multi-level blocks are also a common choice for connecting sensors and actuators due to the amount of wires that can originate from those devices. And finally, number five. Stay grounded. Yeah. Include grounding blocks in your wiring plan. With every electrical scheme, proper grounding is essential for safety and helps ensure proper function. The two main types of ground blocks are isolated and non-isolated, so it's important to know what you need in your application. Typically, people ground right to the DIN rail, which is non-isolated, but just be aware that there are isolated grounds as well. And circuits must be properly grounded. Make sure you stay grounded too, Karen. That's very zen of you, Zach. Namaste. <laughs> All right, so let's review. Number one. Make a wiring plan and size the terminal blocks appropriately for your application. Number two. Know what functionality you need, like disconnects. Number three. Consider your equipment. Do you need fuse protection? Number four. Use multi-level terminal blocks to save precious space. And lastly, Zach, do you remember the last one? Number five, stay grounded. Always ground the circuit properly for safe and reliable operation. What a great student. You get a gold star. All right. <laughs> For more information on terminal blocks, how they work, and the various styles available, check out our other videos on the subject. Do you have what it takes to achieve gold star status like me? Did you even like us yet? Be sure to like and subscribe to receive this virtual imaginary status that means essentially nothing. See you next class.